Okay guys, now we're gonna work on the kata Gekisai Daichi. Now if you're in the juniors class, this kata is the kata that you're working on at around blue belt level. The green belts should be working on this kata as well. But because we're on this long break, if you're an orange or a yellow belt in the juniors class, I'd like you to try to work on this and by the time you come back to class, hopefully you'll know it. In the adult class, this is the kata that you're working at at orange and yellow belt as well. But once again, if you're a white or purple belt, you can try to figure it out. See if you know it by the time we're back in, in training. And for the higher ranking students, this will be a great review. So Gekisai Daiichi is traditionally the first kata in the Gojuru karate style. It means smash and destroy. So it's a pretty intense form. So we're going to work through it. We're going to go through the kata nice and easy. And I'm going to go through a lot of the details so you can go back and forth in the video and check it out. See what stance you're supposed to be in. Make sure that the hands are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And then I'm going to run through the kata at normal speed once we're done. So we start in yoi, like so. We announce the kata. Gekisai daichi! Hands go to shuto, fingers together, thumbs tucked. Left foot slides to right foot. Feet are in what's called musubidachi, open-toed stance. Bow, nishimasu. And we go left hand over right hand, palm over palm, hand still in shuto, and what's called sone. So from here, we're gonna take the right foot first. It steps straight out, and then the heel pushes out that way, and we end up in hourglass stand, sanchin dachi. The right hand covers the face, and the left hand swings up into high block position, agiyuki. From there, this hand's gonna drop almost to outward block position and then pulls back to chamber as our right foot steps forward, high punch. From there, this is half forward stance, hands in kutsudach. From there, this hand, we swing back to sumo stance. This hand drops to cover the rib cage, load our low block, good low block. And we're gonna repeat that Going to the right now. So our left foot steps into the center, turns, pushing the heel out, high block. This hand once again drops, high punch, nice half forward stance. This hand's gonna drop to protect the rib cage, circle this hand back, nice sumo stance, good low block. And then we're gonna be moving forward. Left hourglass stance, left outward block. These techniques are done a little slower. All the techniques in the kata, remember that the name of the kata is smash and destroy. It's done with a lot of intensity. All the techniques are done at full speed, full power. These outward blocks are not, however. They're done nice and slow for control. Then from here, after we do our second outward block, the left foot is gonna throw a front kick, land forward in nice long forward stance, pull this hand to chamber, elbow. The elbow is at the rib cage level. Back fist. Low block, all with the same hand. Then throw the hip, reverse punch. All right, then we're gonna do the chop. Our left foot, the heel, kicks out. We pick our foot up and stomp as we hug our arms together. Chop. The chop is at eye level. We wanna pull our shoulder blades back together. Really pull our shoulders back. Puff the chest out a tiny bit. And then we're gonna repeat, moving backward, nice, easy, outward block, hourglass stance. We're gonna do the kicking sequence again. Kick, land, elbow, back fist, low block, reverse punch, chop. From here, this hand's gonna grab. We're gonna take the foot that's in front, bring it all the way behind, double punch. Now, my left thumb, the rear hand, whichever arm is on the same side as the leg that's back, is the top arm. The thumb on that side should be just above the pinky. If I were to extend them, they should just be able to touch. Like this. And then without rising up, I come, bring my feet in line with each other, turn the hands, pull, step back, punching on the other side. Last move of the kata. Nice strong ki eye right there. Hey. Open the bottom hand. This hand folds into it, step up, push down. We're back in our open-toed stance that we started the kata with in Sone.
And then we're going to close the form, go hands at the side, little bow, arigato Up. Step out to yoi. We're practicing focus, awareness. In Japanese, it's called zanshin at this point. So we hold for a few seconds and then we relax. So that's the kata in detail. What you guys can do with this video is what, as you're learning it or as you want to practice it, go back and forth through the video, rewind, watch parts over and over again until you really get them. And now I'm going to do the kata at full speed so you can see what it looks like when done the proper way. So, excited! Alright guys, that's Kiki Saidaichi. Practice that. Enjoy it.